Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, I don't know if you're aware of this. There's a Women's Professional Basketball League. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> you're telling me there's women who play basketball professionally? Yes, sir. It's called the Women's NBA. Shut the fuck. Jonas, look. <laughs> anyway. I don't like it when you lie. Yeah. <laughs> So, on this podcast. No, real, true story. One time, this was, when was this? 2005? I was, uh, I went, I went over to my grandparents' house and they were sitting there watching the WNBA All-Star game. And I was hey, like, I, I walk in, I was like, are you guys watching the WNBA? And they're like, yeah, it's the All-Star game. And I was like, I felt like saying, name three players. But, they, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I didn't. What if they started naming all positions? I know positions three. Rebecca stuff? Lobos, Brittany Griner, and uh, Brittany- damn it. Brittany Griner doesn't play. She's in jail. She got out. They freed her. Do, Arms she, dealer. D- didn't she just Did come... you see who they released for her, by the way? <laughs> it was the guy they made the fucking movie Lord of War about. Yes. Like, that dude was a international arms dealer. Hey, yo, you want to get into that? I was. I had something totally else to talk about. We but... can still talk about Well, We can get into this a little dude. bit if you like. Go ahead. Say what you got to say. <laughs> well, I didn't. Because uh... I've got pushback for people. Go um, ahead. Say it. So, like, there's other Americans there who they need to get out of jail, too. Are there? Yeah, dude. They got other people. If you or I was in that situation, Joe Biden would not be making arrangements to get us home. You don't think that during a time of war where obviously America and the Western world yeah. has been inputting a lot of funds into the opposition of this country that is at war with essentially itself but you know another country you don't think that they would try to get another american back home there's other americans there there's other americans there but they've been there like what are they, they there for for weed <laughs> Which is like a mind. She did it to herself. We talked I mean, about yes. this. She did do it to herself. But like I said, it's timing. It's the it was the the minor outcry. It mainly it's because she's famous. All right, we got to we got to keep it a buck. Oh, if that's Tom Cruise, if, if Tom Cruise got caught with a little bit of weed, oh, Scientologists was, would get him out in a minute. And, and he was in jail in Russia. We're gonna get him back. So if Brittany Griner, it, oh, WNBA, if that is a real thing, all. <laughs> all-star gets caught up for a little bit of weed during a time of war with a country with a country that we're having a proxy war with and yes it is a proxy war we're gonna try to get him lebron would have been home in a week lebron would have been home in a week but so would freaking if if i don't know if johnny cash was there we're getting him home in a week if dolly part was there i'd give my own life to get her back wow i would Shoot sandra me in bullock. the street putin and bring home dolly <laughs> sandra bullock there's there's a sandra bunch of <laughs> bullock get the fuck out of here i'm just saying uh, it's no, like, but, dude I, I, I just couldn't believe who who we freed okay so and about who we freed because this has been a thing it's like it doesn't feel like we got off you know it feels like an uneven trade to a certain well extent. i saw on red they were like there's the worst trade in WNBA history <laughs> 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 and, and when you okay so look and here and this is the, what the point i want to bring is that it's not really a bad trade because while this guy had a bunch of connections he had a bunch of access and he did a bunch of bad things in his life right he did that how many freaking years ago oh i have no clue a long time ago. 30 years ago my man we're talking damn near 30 years Probably not. Maybe twenty years. No, so, I mean, I don't know. Truth, not facts. E- e- even the way that even even like if he wanted to get out today and be like, I'm going to run arms again. It's not the same business. It's not going to happen the same way. Essentially, <laughs> yes, he did sell guns to a lot of countries that caused a lot of deaths. I'll give you that. Has he served his time? I don't know. That's not for me to say. That's not for me to say. But I'm saying is that he's not dangerous any longer. Not as dangerous. Not as dangerous. I mean, is he probably okay. is he going to jump back into the business? Maybe, but probably not. Maybe he's just like, yo, after after you get caught by the feds, you usually give up the lifestyle. You're like, look, I just want to go home and have a normal life. I don't ever want to do anything that's going to potentially get me back in jail. So he may well, be. Yeah, you know, they're probably going to keep tabs on him 
really in hard. that part. And it won't be it's like if you if you f up if you fuck up again, we're just gonna put you back in American prison. Is that where you want to go? No, Probably better than Russian prison. Look, man, I'm just saying. It's like, look, if, if you are doing crimes and you get caught and you get put in jail for five years. Usually you turn it over a new leaf when you get out. You're like, yo, I just want to live a normal life. So this guy has been doing federal time for I don't even know how long. I don't know how long his sentence has been, but I know it's been a long time. Um, over 10 years. Look, yeah, he's just going to get home to his family. So is it a bad trade? Not really. Yeah, Not yeah, really. Subjective, I guess. It is subjective, and it feels like a bad trade to people. I didn't think it was. Let's. let's Anyways, let's so uh, this this professional basketball league that we're talking about. Yes. Yes. So I saw a thing on Reddit one day, and it said uh, NBA WNBA star Kelsey Plum. That's the star of the WNBA. Okay. It said sure. she had a quote that said, <clears throat> "We're not asking to get paid what the men get paid." We're asking to get paid the same percentage of revenue shared. Okay. Valid point. Get it. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Hey, we understand our league doesn't make as much money. So for us to make the same amount of money, the league wouldn't be able to afford us, right? Oh, so they want a pay cut. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what it sounds so like to somebody me. Somebody in the comments broke it down on Reddit. He said the revenue percent share per team is the same, but the WNBA has only 12 teams compared to 30. He oh. said, he said, 30 NBA teams at 50% revenue share equals 1.67% of league revenue per team. 12 WNBA teams at 20% revenue share equals the same percentage. He said what's interesting is that the maximum roster size of the WNBA team is 12 players compared to 15, 15. for the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, the NBA allocates just 0.011% of revenue per player, where the WNBA allocates 0.014% per player. So technically, they make more money okay. per player yeah. from revenue sharing than the men do. Yeah, There's dude. just less revenue <laughs> less and less revenue. teams yeah. and less players. Uh, so I was like, and you got, of course, got a billion up votes because everyone was like, oh, there's numbers. You can't argue numbers or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, and that's the thing with WNBA and in, in women's professional sports, <laughs> anything. It, it has to be, I agree that it needs to be fair, but it needs to be fair based on money made, and all yeah, of that thing. Yeah. Because you couldn't, if you paid any WNBA players what LeBron makes, the league would go bankrupt. It doesn't oh, make yeah. enough money. <laughs> they, couldn't, <laughs> they couldn't afford, one player would bankrupt the entire right. league. They can't make that much money because the, the league yeah. doesn't make that we much don't, money. We don't want to say they, oh, okay, okay. I was going to say the league doesn't, we don't want to say they can't make that much money. Yeah, the, the WNBA the can, can make that money, but yeah. they just, it, it started recently, you know. In like ninety, I mean, you know, <laughs> but like, the NBA's been around since like the forties, right? But but it's just yeah, it's like it. You can't the it even though it seems very unequal, it's a lot more equal than it seems. Yeah, and I, I honestly, I feel like you know maybe maybe WNBA need stars need to get out there and push the product a little harder. Yeah, or I mean, it, it's just like when you talk about like Division One colleges and they're talking yeah. about how like the football program coaches make millions of dollars and like the volleyball coach makes nothing how much money does that damn football team bring into the university compared to how much that volleyball team brings into the university i, mean, I give you that between tv endorsements and all you know like it, it's it's all about how much money you're bringing in <laughs> it really whether it's is. men or women like if the women's team brought in the most money they would make the most money dude it's it's just it's it's economics how does the WNBA get better, Jonas? What 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 do they do? What do they do to get to the point where they're in line with the NBA? I have a wild I have a wild theory, dude. I wanted to hear it. I figured you did. Why I think they should they should make the court a little smaller and lower the hoops. Okay. And I say that because, Okay. Goddamn timer. Um because for no other reason than people like exciting basketball. And what does exciting basketball mean? Slam dunks, high scoring, all this other stuff. There's only like one woman that can dunk. Who wants to watch a bunch of people do layups on a hoop they can't dunk on? So, so you lower the rim a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, like and a you, foot. And you, and you make the court a little smaller. Yeah, like 24 like, feet. Like 10% lower, 10% smaller. And then I bet you it would make a huge. It, the games would be more exciting. Yeah, yeah. And but just, like, just have one girl running down a hallway. <laughs> I'd watch that all day. 
What? <laughs> Shorten in the field, lower in the hoop. Just what? just the hallway? Just, just running and then dunking at the end? Just throws it in the trash can. Just, just like, throws just the like, ball in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> runs out it's, just like, it's just like a drill. They're just like passing to each other and they all do a dunk. <laughs> we're, we're downsizing the WNBA. <laughs> no, but I think that would make it more exciting. What do you think I, would make it more exciting? I agree. I'm not going to topless. No, I'm. that was wow. a joke. What? Somebody had to say it. No, I'm Did kidding. <laughs> no, oh. nobody had to say it. I don't know. Honestly, I don't have the answer. I think if they got out there and pushed the product a little harder, maybe, uh, you know. I, I, mm. But say the college college women's basketball isn't as popular. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, so And it's been around since men's. Right. Well, they not since They struggle for but. men's basketball to get time because the players don't even go there anymore. They, they go one year and, sk- and go out. Like, it's not like yeah. back in the day when, like, Jordan and all those guys would play two or three years and the tournament would have high-ass caliber players playing basketball. Yeah. Now you get, like, one year. And they don't pay the players. Right. <laughs> I think uh, – aren't they to the point where they pay those players now? I think, I think something like the NCAA football – I don't know if they make money, but they can make, have endorsements or something. Yeah, like, yeah, something yeah. like they're able to make some sort of monetary, like their likeness. They yeah. can use, you know, they can like for like video games and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, but anyways, man, it's just it's it, it it's it's insane. Yeah, I don't know if you if you guys know how to fix the WNBA, let us know. Yeah, exactly. It's important. We'll start That's talking about it all the time. We have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com, Subscribe for Jonas TNT. We out.